Hello and welcome, my name is Derek and you are watching me build the city of Goose Bay in City Skylines. Now let's get started here. Last time we were uh, doing some work on this island over here. Um, and then I said I wanted to do this area old area. Now obviously it's built up a little bit.
parking this is two by four so we're gonna put one here one here one here and one here go back into our roads So now we're going to take our elementary school, plop that down there, take our high school, plop that down there, we're going to put one of these really nice public libraries over here. That's going to give us good coverage for this area. Now we're going to go into the parks and um, try to find some school-related sports things that are going to fit well here. I know some things fit better than others. See how that looks. All right, we can make this look good. I'm going to take the, uh, the trees that I have here out. We're going to put some other landscaping in later, but for now they're just kind of getting in the way. All right, so we can see that this street actually dips down and is at a lower elevation than this street. Not a big deal, we'll just put some trees and stuff here. Make that all blend in. Let's go back, I think I have um, some, uh, maybe. Put that tennis court and the mini soccer field. So let's see what we can do. This uh, this school is a little bit high. That's because it's facing this road here. You know, we'll probably just end up hiding this uh, behind some trees. That should look okay. All right, now for this, though. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to build some paths. So I know this probably looks bad now, but don't worry, it's going to be okay.
we'll take the surface painter and just kind of gently nudge this concrete along. And like I said, the rest of this we're going to fill in with landscaping. Let's pull this down. Um, we'll switch back to our city trees here. Whoa, big size. And then where the trees don't fill in, we're going to plant our own trees. I like these trees from the uh, content creator pack trees that we got for free. Um, they're a lot better than the vanilla trees. Um, you know, the vanilla trees are starting to show their age, so these content creator pack ones are pretty good. Um, so let's see here. Got to bring the brush size down to single. Throw on tree anarchy. Just throw those in there. Let's go with some uh, pine tree there. Just fill some of this in. All right, so that is a nice little, little school campus there. And maybe like one or two more trees just to hide some of these other little, little imperfections.
and we can kind of fiddle with that a little bit later more to my liking but for now that's pretty good so we got our uh, education complex took care of our fire police education how's our garbage looking actually all right so we're still doing pretty good all right so let's get this simulation fired up so we can get some citizens moving in here maybe speed it up a little bit so you get the house is already coming in While I'm waiting on houses to come in, residents to come in, just take a look at what I did over here. So in the first stream, I had um, I had this key wall that has a sidewalk on it, and um, I got some paths that go to the key wall. Uh, but I also have these additional key walls because this one, since it has the sidewalk, it has to go under these bridges. So it created this like uh, weird uh, terrain area here because this road is so close to this other key wall. Um, so I put these secondary key walls to kind of shore that up. Um, I mean they're okay, they uh, they're all right, but they just um, I don't know something wasn't looking right. So instead I used the oh there's a lot of houses leveling up. Um, you know what I didn't put in? I didn't put in any parks. Oh, these people need parks, and I don't want to have to take out too many houses to do that. I mean, we got these here, but I wanted to put in a special park here and there. Um, large playground. Where was I going to fit this? I think I was actually planning on putting it right here. I don't want to take up that house. These people are covered by these parks over here, even though they're part of the school. That's um, They're still parks, so they, uh, they still count for over there. So maybe I can fit it. Maybe over here near the water. And because I have tree anarchy on, all those trees came through. Let's just take those out. Oh, they're actually coming through all these houses. Well, that's the trouble with mods sometimes. Sometimes things happen that you don't really want happening. Oh, and those trees are actually part of that. Oh, those are terrible. We'll fix that later. Oh, look at this house. They got a nice little barbecue patio and everything. Good for them.
All right, we'll fix any other trees as we need to. As I go to fix more trees. <laughs> All right. So that's enough trees right now. All right, so we got this residential neighborhood coming out. Demand has started to kind of drop off a little bit. Um, and we still have more places uh, for them to build houses in. Good. All right, now one thing that's not good is I was really hoping that we would have industrial demand at this point, but don't. So we were going to work on this farming. Um, we can actually talk about a few things while we're waiting for demand to kind of come back. All right, so in the last stream, I had uh, already said I want to set this aside for farming and this aside for uh, forestry industry. Um, I did also mention that there was this uh, rail line that came in from off the map, so that's an outside connection, but that kind of just stops right here. So these trees right here, this is only temporary, uh, but this is just telling me that this is where I want the rail to eventually go in. Um, so I do have it split off here, so one's going to be a cargo rail, and the other one's going to be passenger. Cargo is going to come into here, kind of branch off, so there's going to be another train line that comes through here. And then there's going to be um, kind of like access ramps to get on and off of this. It's going to be a little bridge that goes over here. Now once we get over here, uh, the passenger rail is going to continue this way and then go up into where this train station is. So if you take a look here, it uh, might be hard to see unless I put the contours on. Uh, but this goes up, so this is in uh, you know, a good like uh, 10, 20, 30, 30, 40 meters kind of up here. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna start bringing the train line up into a bridge and bring it over and have it meet up level with here. That way we can sneak other things like other roads and stuff underneath here and I have accurate connections for that because this is actually gonna eventually be the main train hub for this whole area here. Um, and I have a pretty special uh, train station collection that I wanna use. All right, so this uh, this is labeled special project. This is um, going to be a park, um, but I'm not going to say what kind of park just yet. It's going to be a special surprise for when we get to it. Then out here, I just uh, marked off the oil and ore industries. Um, these uh, we got future interchanges here and here. Um, I have this road that comes up. I plan to bridge this river here, and bring it up to this future interchange. This interchange is going to um, also service the industry. So this is going to go up, this is going to go up. And then I'm also planning another one for over here that's going to kind of dip down and kind of do maybe something similar to what this did, but obviously not right here. It's going to come back in through here. All right, so let's actually, uh, while we're waiting for industrial demand, let's actually start bringing this rail line over to see what that would look like.
let's uh, let's start from over here because I want to grab this height here. Keep that as a bridge. gonna use move it select all of these nodes and make them all the same height as that so now we can kind of get a feel for how high this bridge is gonna be so that is kind of high but we'll leave it like that because it gives us good clearance underneath to do what we need to do in the future So let's turn move it off. All right, we're going to use the uh, network multi tool to make that look a lot better. our sloping tools so we want we want it to start here and see what maybe that does Yeah, I think I like that. <laughs> Except I don't really like the way that this looks. So I'm going to go from here to here with the Arrange It Line tool. And what this is going to do is it's going to try to give us the best curve possible. So we're going to go with that. Looks good. Now what I want to do... So I'm going to use the terrain tool. I'm going to grab this height here to kind of make a little platform so we don't get any of that blue. Because if we had this right up against here, we would get um, some of that clipping and we would get that blue where you don't see. So we don't want that. So I'm just going to extend this out a little bit. And then what we can also do is do our slope. Click on this bottom height here, start up here, and just kind of drag down.
and then basically do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now we just use our smooth tool and just pull that out a little bit. So now that looks pretty natural there. Just got to fix this. So let's take a look at our contours here, see where the uh, hill is. All right, so we basically want the bridge to start. And around this height. All right, so that's about there. So what we're going to do, we're going to use uh, move it first. Let's, uh, let's see about our nodes here. Use the network multi-tool. So now that I can't see the contours, it's kind of hard. So let's... Uh, Draw terrain heights here. So this is our pad that we did. So what we want to do is go into our network multi-tool. We're going to create a node right about here. And then we already have a node here. So we are going to select these with move it. Basically every node in between. So you want all the nodes. And that's the node that we said was at the height we wanted. So we're going to do a control H and bring them all up to that height. And then we are going to slope from here. Down to here. Okay, so see that? Nice and gentle grade comes up to here, and this is our nice, easy, gentle crossing. Perfect. Now, let's just use our terrain tools to make this look a little bit nicer.
and that looks beautiful. That is a nice smooth line. It's going to be a nice easy train ride for our passengers. Alright, so now that I got this rail corridor in place, I'm actually going to take out these trees here. Just because I, I don't like looking at them. So that's our train line in place. So now that we have that, I'm actually going to get rid of this uh, district that I set up. Because I don't need the reminder anymore because we have the railroad there. Alright, looking good. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll use the parallel line tool to just uh, make another train line for the cargo. So let's take a look at our residential here. This has filled out really nicely. Looks like we got some commercial demands. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some commercial in, like I said I was going to. So for some reason, this wasn't giving us any zoning, so I had to use the zoning adjuster to zoning on that road to our commercial. filled in pretty nicely but we do still have a very high residential demand so I'm gonna go ahead and pause here now we have this train station we want to put in we have this uh, area I've set aside for a special project but we also have more residential that we need. So that's going to go in and around these areas here and then extend out along the water here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to finish this key wall here first. I'm going to start over here, make sure my freeform tool is on.
and we'll use the slope tool to go from here to here. And now we just use our terrain tools to kind of fill this area in and make it look nice. So unfortunately, when you work with these key walls, uh, you do sometimes get these um, little weird bumpy contour lines that show up, uh, especially when the terrain isn't even. Sometimes you can work pretty hard to get them to go away, but other times they just, uh, they're going to be there, and you just have to deal with them. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to uh, get this just right because if you push it too hard, you'll start to get some tearing up top. It's a very delicate tool. and then we'll let the water come and fill these areas in. Now up here, I think I'm going to continue uh, this pattern of this road following the key wall up until probably about, you no, know, well, maybe I will continue it on all the way down to here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see how that works. So let's uh, grab that.
parallel. I'm going to start from here, work my way out. I know that I have this at 20 meters out, so I can just put it like that. And then just keep clicking these nodes to drag it along. And we'll bring it right up to the edge here. And then to connect these, we'll just use the create connection mode. Click on the two streets, and uh, that looks about good. All right, so we have this basic shape here. Let's go ahead and. Uh, Use our surface painter concrete. Bring this down. It's like about about twenty. And then just paint away. because we got a bunch of rocks from this when uh, when this used to be the river. Go in, double click props, and then just select them all and delete them. surface painting. And that's looking pretty good. Now I'm eventually going to replace um, these keys, like I said, with this surface painted concrete, but that's going to be another time. So I'll start thinking about these roads here. Now I think I definitely want this road to continue straight.
Alright, so now let's take this road. We're gonna pull this along. So that it lines up with here. Because as we can see here, this is pretty much the, uh, the top part of this high part. And then it starts to dip down a little bit. Well, more than a little bit. But we want the road to kind of go along here. Alright, so this is going to be for the uh, special project area. So I made this line up with the rail line here, and I made this road straight so that we could make the train station fit neatly in here. So I did some measurements before, and the setup I want to go with is a 26 by 22 area that we need. That's including the roads. So I'm actually going to rid that out here. Let's take a look at the train station, actually. This way we can plan. I'm going to put them in here, but then I'm going to take them out. Because um, I don't want the uh, rail line coming in just yet. I'm going to save that for another stream. Um, but I'm using this uh, Modern Central, it's a modular station, so there's the front part, there are these uh, middle tracks which all clip together, or they snap together, and then there's this third part that has a, a six-stop bus hub attached to it. These are all from Bad Peanut from the workshop. So as you can see, the, uh, the front road here has these three metro lines that connect up underneath, which we are going to use at some point later, so we do want that. So yeah, probably somewhere along here. So let's put that down here. I'm going to put this modular station right up next to it. I'm going to put three of them. Because I have some plans for the future. And then put this third section here in the back. Alright, so that does look really nice. So what we're going to do here... I know I said I was going to delete it, but I guess I lied a little bit. I'm just going to connect this up straight away. Alright, so that is going to look a little bad at first, but what I'm going to do is use the Arrange of Line tool. I'll start maybe here, and then go to here, and that just gives us a, a better looking line there. I'm 
Now I am going to connect up these other ones here. Actually, I want to go about this in a different way. Alright, and that is the passenger train station all connected up to the line there. Um, now, in theory, um, any one of these platforms here can uh, take trains in off the map. So now that that's connected, uh, we might actually start seeing passenger trains come in from off the map. Um, so let's go back to uh, putting in the roads around this station. So this one I just want to... Uh, up from here to here. And we're going to need to bring a road back here for this.
and to fill this area out, I'm going to do pretty much what I had done uh, in the time lapse over here with the parallel tool. I think we're going to give ourselves uh, a little bit more room here. Um, so one unit in the game is uh, 8 meters. That's why 10 units is 80 meters. So if I want to go 12, so yeah, we'll give ourselves a little bit more room there. And then we'll just copy this.
right? So that's what I'm getting my subtle area to work in. Um, now, let's just take a look at the pies here for a second. smooth these out a little bit here.
does look like that we're having a little bit of power. So I've honestly been just using block services for that. And I just hide them in buildings that I know are going to stay there. Um, like this high school here. So that should actually give us plenty of power, so we're good on power for now. Let's take a quick second and take a look at traffic flow. 85%, we're still looking pretty good here. Got a couple little hot spots here and there, but nothing too bad to worry about for right now, anyway. Now from here you can see these uh, three metro stations that are underneath the, the main platform here for the train. One of them I definitely want to take and bring up eventually right through the middle of the island here. This other one, I want to bend this way and bring out towards the new residential area. And then, um, you know, these can obviously continue south as well. And I think maybe this one will come up. Um, there's going to be more residential over here eventually, so this train station could probably come up, have a stop here, and go up this way. So we'll have these three branching lines coming out from the main train station down here. Looking good there. Now let's start taking care of this residential demand here. Let's check out our services first just to make sure that we're good. Um, did I ever place a sauna here? Doesn't look like I did. But I still have this area down here, so this has a good wide coverage. So if I place this about here, that'll cover most of this area. And then there's another sauna over here, which covers this little bit that gets missed by this one over here. Take a look at our hospital coverage. We're definitely going to want one somewhere over here. Wow, look at all of these vehicles coming out of the train station. Looks like we did get trains. Oh, here comes another one. So this is going to start bringing a lot of people into the city here. So traffic might become an issue at some point pretty soon because of that. But that's why we got to get these metro stations up and running at some point. All right. Medical clinic. We're gonna put this one right about there. Okay, death care, same with before. We're gonna put that right in with the medical clinic. Put it right there. Fire department, we're gonna use that same station we used over there. Um, looks like we are getting some coverage from this one as well. So we'll put this one there. Police. This one can actually fit right next to the fire station. And schools. Wow, we have a highly educated population right now. I mean, we should, given the capacity here. Whoa. 
we'll actually just leave that for now. Since we have the capacity, they can travel. And then we'll uh, we'll fit one in later if we really need to. Um, I do want to squeeze a library in, though. Maybe we'll throw one up there. Parks. I want a dog park right about there. And we're going to throw another one in. this. Can we fit this in? No, it's just a little too big. trying to find the perfect place for this. Some of these blocks are kind of oddly shaped. That'll go good there. And then we can throw in some more parks as the need arises later. Let's just, uh... Now this train station has a noise radius to it. So if we see where that is... We can see where maybe we'll put some commercial. So let's uh, let's put that in now. So that's basically this entire block. Plus basically here and here. So let's put that in now. So we don't have to deal with that later. Okay, and then same as over here, we're going to put commercial also along the, the waterfront here. Now, obviously, we're not going to touch anything in special project land. But let's go ahead and throw in our residential here.
All right. So we got this fence in as a reminder that we want to, at some point, bring these train lines out this way. So that just gives us the room. We're not going to put anything there. We're going to put some other things uh, over here. We'll just leave that for now, wait for this residential to fill out. exit is not going to be here and I have something very special planned for this area um, it's going to require a lot of traffic being diverted to different areas but um, I think the end result eventually is going to be great but that's a that's a project for another day and also another DLC that I have to actually buy and don't have yet so while we're waiting let's go ahead and put some trees in here Gonna take our city trees. And we're just gonna pop these in here. Whoa, do I have anarchy on? Oh no, it's because I have collision turned off. Yep, that'll do it. Alright, let's go back to our trees. Got all these trees popping in through roads. Terrible. Eventually we'll get buildings in these empty places, but it's always good to throw down some trees just to make it not look so empty. Good landscaping always livens up uh, a nice city. Take my dense brush. This is just for now. What we're gonna do just around the outside of the special project area. Keep that nice and separated. Okay, looking good. <laughs> and uh, let's bring these city trees over to here as well.
All right, so now we can, uh, can see everything starting to flow together. Um, so this, uh, this new residential area, this other new new residential area, and Goose Island are all starting to look together. We got some nice connectivity going across the island to the mainland. Lots of opportunities for getting across town. I even have this uh, one pedestrian bridge that didn't show off. Let's see how many people are. Uh, looks like it's getting really good use, actually. People are really using that to get across. That's wonderful. I love when things just work. And look, people are walking along here. That's just so wonderful. Alright, so it is kind of a shame that our uh, industrial demand didn't come in. But at least we got a whole bunch of other things set up. We got this train line set up. Look at all these trains coming in. Each one of these is its own uh, individual platform. I need to set this up because uh, this is just going to bring way too many trains in eventually. Especially uh, once we start using this to bring... Um, our own lines in between different stations in the city. Uh, we're not going to want inner city trains to come to every one of these, but definitely one of them. That's why, oh, look at all of this traffic. There's just so much of it. And it's all just pouring out of here because we don't have any other ways to get around the city other than traffic and this train station. So once they come in, they all have to just get in their cars unless they're, uh, you know, going to one of these places nearby they can just walk to it but so many people are coming in and getting right into a car and spawning off away so we're definitely gonna have to take a look at mass transit but that's gonna be in another episode so let's actually uh so have a little bit more of residential demand. Let's go ahead and pull that in over on this side, just to fill this out too. And even though there's no demand for it, I'm still going to just put this commercial in just so it's here when there is the demand. Same thing for what I said over here with this commercial. I'm just gonna pop that in just so it's there. I know I definitely want commercial here. So we definitely got a lot done here. Um, way, way more of the map. Like, we're not even using anywhere close to even 25% of the map yet. 
we got a good, nice good fill out. We've got our nice plan in place. We brought this train line in. So I'm feeling pretty good. We got these future interchanges that could be set up. Um, you know what? Let me, uh, let me do that. That'll be the last thing that I get accomplished here. And then that should be good. So let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and get this upgraded. Yeah, this is this one that we have here. So we're going to upgrade this to here. And then we're going to build a bridge off of this to the other side. Okay, so what I'm doing, um, I don't think I really showed too much of this before, but I'm just creating these uh, two nodes right here very close in the key. I'm just pulling them down just to give enough room for somebody to walk. And obviously it creates this little opening where we can see into the bottom of the world, but we'll fix that. Not a big deal. And then I just come through use the sloping tool and just make that a little gentle there we go four percent pretty good all right so people can walk under this and now we got this connection going out here so just like over here we're gonna use this experimental high flow interchange all right so it's about that big so we gotta get rid of some highway here And then just want to make sure that this is a nice flat area. Kick up the brush strength a bit. You can definitely see that it's not. So let's pick this height. I'm just going to do my best to kind of eyeball this. Okay, about there looks good. Now with this one, I get rid of these little stubbies here. We're going to just uh, back that out a little bit. And then leave that up there. While I'm thinking about it, let's get rid of uh, this district here, because this is no longer a future interchange. 
This is a in progress interchange. Alright, so we gotta upgrade all of these to four lane. I'm gonna do that to about there. Um, now we do have this other future interchange, so we'll just do it all four. We're gonna be deleting, you know, about to there when we make that other interchange. And now we're just gonna use our tool, network multi tool, to create a connection here and here. Uh, looks good. We could fix this up later. Whoa, I did not want that. Now we're going to use the Arrange It Line tool. Just to get some better looking curves. I'm just checking to make sure that there aren't any nodes that are way too close. Looks like we're good. And now we're going to select this six lane road and make a connection between here and here. Good. And then we are going to arrange it line from here to here. Maybe not. All right, that looks good. All right, so let's just uh, do a little terrain smoothing over here. Looking good. This uh, is almost set. Last thing I want to do is use Traffic Manager just to connect these different lanes.
Alright, and it looks like that's all set there. So this is a functional interchange now. So now people can go this way and go to this area. Perfect. All right, excellent. So we got a nice, uh, we got a nice city going here. We got nearly three thousand people, which is amazing, and things are coming along nicely, except for that industrial demand, which I have to take a look into. Well, I think that's going to about do it for today's stream. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment, and if you're watching this on YouTube, like and subscribe. Thank you so much, and I will check you out in the next one. Bye-bye.